Today I want to show off uh, something I've actually kept hidden for a bit. Um, this looks like XFCE5. It certainly has the whole familiarity of the layout, but it is not. This is the new Makulu Linux Mate Edition. It's based on Mate 1.8.0. And uh, I've kept the look of the XFCE series. I actually want to implement that into just about every release I make, or as close as possible. So as you can see, there's the dual menus on both sides, the shortcuts at the bottom left, and of course your um, task tasks and so forth on the bottom right with the clock and the weather. On the desktop you see the clock, uh, the big clock on the right top, as well as the um, quotes in the bottom right. The icons are your traditional icons that would be on the desktop. If I click on the menu, you will actually see this is the Mint menu. Um, those familiar with Mate will obviously know the Mint menu. Um, it will pop up with your favorites, of course, and then show all the applications. The applications are pretty much the same as uh, the ones that are inside uh, XFCE5, so I won't cover those. Um, what is really new here is the Favorites menu. I've been uh, working on some utilities and scripts and so forth that I've uh, been writing for Makulu Linux specifically and as you can see there is a setup Makulu Linux that is a whole setup guide that it's a post install script um, that will actually pop up the first time you run the, the operating system which is pretty cool um, there's an easy turn animation on and off you click this button it will ask you do you want animation on or off you say yes or no on or off and um, the next time you reboot it, it it will obviously be on or off according to your choice the same with the wallpaper changer we have a repair repository um, one click repair we've got a one click easy update and upgrade your system we also have an application installer and application remover this is for easy application installation and easy application removing users no longer have to type app get install and the application name or aptitude and application name neither do they have to type app get remove application name you can simply click on application installer now put in your password and just type the software name simply in the box for example let's do the edit um, and it will tell you Makulu Linux installer will now install gedit please note that additional packages may not be uh, may be installed as well if you click OK it will then start the installation of course I'm in live mode and the internet connection is not enabled so that won't work but the concept you understand the concept the same with uh, application removal so and I'm not quite done with it yet this is still a test build but I'm adding a lot of stuff that that's just gonna all round make a uh, Makulu Linux easier for the users to use, um, especially the new users. They don't have to worry about remembering a bunch of commands and stuff. It's all just going to be click and drag and drop. It's uh, very nice. Um, anyway, so as you can see, uh, I've enabled the um, Compass and Emerald in uh, Makulu Mate as well. And as you can see, I've kept the traditional theme, the whole graphite dark. Um, theme that we usually use the um, pretty much we use it in all, all of our releases it's a very awesome theme it's one of my favorites um, and everything that is in the previous XFCE release is here as well um, I'm not sure if the dual menu will make it into the final build we're having a lot of problems with uh, slings cold um, conflicts with applications certain applications so that's still in consideration. It is in a test build, however, as you can see, fully functional. Um, wallpaper changer, pretty much everything else is here. That's, that's usually in Makulu Linux. But uh, the Mate is running very nicely, very stable, um, very fast, and using very little RAM. Um, system monitor, uh, processes, resources, as you can see, um, I'm running in live mode. It's using 30% of my CPU. Um, and that is probably because of uh, Vokka screen and everything else running in the background. 
uh, memory consumption currently using 242 megs of RAM that's only about I'd say less than 10 megs more than XFCE um, so yeah I mean this is this is running at, at uh, very low resources if I switch off Vaka screen and everything else the CPU usage comes right down so um, running nice looking very very smart a lot of transparency as you can see the bottom panel is quite transparent not so much on this wallpaper but if I click on something else then you can actually see it showing right through the panel um, these are some of the new wallpapers that we're making it into into this edition uh, let me just find something here that's that will show off the background more there we go you can actually see the grass right through the bottom panel so there's a lot of transparency going on here um, on the menu as well and like I said uh, you know um, pretty much in this version um, switching switching uh, as you can see compass everything working out of the box uh, switching animation on and off is as simple as clicking animation do you want the effects da 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 no you don't want animation on so we say no it says animation will turn off after next reboot um, we go we log out uh, log out. Don't mind that crap. And we log back in. There we go. Just give it a second. And if we click something now, as you can see, animation is now off see how easy it is to switch animation on and off that there animations off there's no uh, emerald there's no compass it's all off if we uh, go back there again if we go back there again click favorites click animation on off put in our password do you want to enable animation by default we say yes okay animation will be turned on after next reboot okay we go log out again, log out, type in our password, and what do you know? You can actually see the transparency just switch on there. So you already know that animation is on. And there we go. Animation is back. So I'm working on a lot of that kind of thing with a new XFCE as well as the new Mate version. A lot of these little uh, utilities that will be making its way into the distros. Just in general, I'm just looking for anything, any way to make the user's life easier. Changing your root password or your user password. I've written little scripts all over the show that will just kind of enable this, this easy way of doing things. I think that's the future of Linux. Um, it's nice to have a terminal, it's nice to have the option to use the terminal but you know a lot of the time you don't want to sit there and click this and click that and type lengthy stuff and sit and watch a terminal and then type the next command when everything could be automated for you I mean that's pretty much um, where Linux should be headed or at least where Makulu Linux is, he is headed um, so yeah, this is Makulu Linux Mate 1.8 making its way to uh, the website soon. It's currently testing version, so um, that's probably a matter of weeks maybe. I don't know, I cannot give you an ETA, but as you can see, uh, it's in the very advanced stages of development, uh, fully functional, um, lots of stuff, goodies and stuff. Um, some nice themes as well on its way um, I haven't quite finished on all the themes but as you can see there will be quite a bit for the user to choose from um, the list will be well pretty much quite a bit to to play around with but yeah so this is Makulu Linux Mate something I've kept hidden until now and uh, I thought it's time to show it off so yeah Give me your feedback on what you guys think. I'll be happy to respond.